All right, this is definitely directly the fourth or the fifth video that I've done today on this Sunday. It is 6-12, and it's been a very blessing get the uh, weekend thus far. Yesterday at work, it was very, you know, fast-paced, and I feel like I definitely went um, the best pace that I've ever went with my job, so all glory be to God with that. Uh, I feel like I kept up very reasonably, very fast and efficient. I believe I just did it the absolute God first best I could. And thank you, Jesus Christ, for that. Um, God is good. Jesus Christ, salvation reigns supreme above all things. And it's just real stuff. So, once again, to continue to get into some stuff, um, I don't know when you all will be seeing this video. Um, but um, the songs, um, the songs Born Again and Set Yourself Apart once again. Uh, Born Again is a song I've been wanting to drop for definitely a few weeks, if not a couple of months now, doing um, or based upon, again, the, the I want to say bibl bibliology, something, some type of word like that, that it's based upon. I love, I love the philosophy and the idea of being born again. If I, if you would ask me, I've been born again way before I got baptized on June 22nd, 2018, but at the same time, I needed that seal to make myself feel definitely, you know, more, um, I wouldn't say content, but if not content, just, you know, you know, feel like, feel whole. I guess feel more whole than what I was all I was already feeling. But again, um, some other things to focus on, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the potentially, or not even the potentially, but the exact war on poverty. Um, I can rest assure you, I got like three, four magazines here. Well, not magazines, but three, four um, newspapers here. Um, that um, really do correspond with some things. Three or four um, newspapers here that correspond with some news around uh, Jacksonville and um, some news around the state of Florida and so on and so on. One's going to let everybody know one of the top things I'm, I'm, I'm a part of is God first supporting the youth through God first, Jesus Christ salvation, everything that I got. Um, and I can rest assure you, with that being said, some things might be misconstrued at times, but I can rest assure you that whether it's on YouTube, uh, whether it's on any sort of social media and et cetera, it's all for the love of the children. It's all for, you know, the, for the advancement of all people. It's all to get everybody back right with Christ now while time is still on the clock. Forgive me for any uh, misconceptions, uh, any misinterpretations. Um, I, like I said, I try to make things as, I would say, blunt and honest clear you get the point as i can uh sometimes it doesn't always work i guess but for the most part i, love, I still love every, every everybody and i pray to god that you know he guides everybody to their jesus jesus reservation better tomorrow on a daily basis but um things like the war on poverty i messaged on my snap at nj number two the city i want everybody to understand that you know the war on poverty itself is something you have to realize the war on poverty itself is something you have to realize that it's never going to end until people start loving thy neighbors thyself and then loving themselves through Christ, which strengthens them. That means you have to kind of stop making the same excuses, decade old excuses, and just do better. As I've said before, I think possibly so many local churches have to be held responsible for the war on poverty. They just have to be. Because I rest assure you that if the church was doing its job, there would be no more poverty. Particularly if there were particularly the mega churches, I guess you could say. If they were doing their job, there would be no poverty. But even local churches, I rest assure you, there's something that they can do. But they gotta do more. There's no reason why anybody really should be homeless for the most part, unless they just willingly wanna be. But I can rest assure you there's a lot of people who I don't believe want to be homeless whatsoever. They were just forced into these situations, these predicaments, based upon, um, I want to say things that I can't name, but you can probably, you know, got some ideas. Um, like I say, I've definitely talked about this issue multiple times on this YouTube channel. And I just want everybody to understand, things like, things like the war on poverty need to change, they need to get healed, they can. Any day, any time, they can change, they can get healed. But people have to do what they gotta do. That means every community, low income, high income, middle income, you gotta do what you gotta do. 
And a part of doing what it is you have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is praying to the Heavenly Father to show you the way. And then you could even say after that, seeking counsel with other people who possibly are going through the same struggles as you or maybe have already charmed from them and ask them, how do they do it? And can they step-by-step -step guide you with a plan? And the reason why I say that, ladies and gentlemen, because you're not going to get, you're, you're not going to get out of poverty alone, I guess is a better way of saying it. You're not going to get out of it alone, you know, because I think if you could, a lot of people would have done it by now. You're not going to get out of poverty alone. You have to, you have, you need help. You need a majority of people, I think in the 80s, the 90 percentile, they need help. And you're not, and you're, and you, you're not going to get out of poverty if you don't. You know, if you don't I want to say seek refuge through the Lord, you're, you're just not going to do it. And that's and like I said, I don't know how many different ways to dissect this, but that's definitely one of the things I want everybody to understand. And it's not that I ever fully came from this and that type of background, but I can rest assure you that over my lifespan thus far, the Lord has blessed me with tremendous wisdom and a tremendous loving heart from thy neighbor. And trust me, particularly in St. John's, in St. John's County, which is supposedly number one in our state for homelessness, which is, again, a darn shame and a disgrace. But other than that, with St. Augustine itself, I will never forget, you know, I thank you to all the people who commented under that video, even though I spent the majority of the video talking about myself. <laughs> um, thank you to everybody who was com who commented under that video because it's real stuff, I mean. When you when I when you see the homeless in St. Augustine, downtown St. Augustine, I don't know what you think of, but I know what I think of. And part of what I think of is how much better they can do. How much better they can be. But they just have to want better. And that's one of the top things that I, I think to myself. And not only do they have to want better, but people, particularly within politics, they have to want to do better. The people in politics... But not just people in politics, because you can't just keep putting it all on politics. If you do that, you will absolutely never get out of your poverty. You got to stop putting it all on po politics. You got to put it on each other and yourself. Now, yourself, number one, because I can rest assured you, not everybody has a loving, caring, generous heart and soul. So you have to, number one, put it on yourself, and then two and three, put it on other people, I guess. You know, certain certain other people. Don't put it on everybody. Put it on certain other people. Because certain other people should help you. you know, and, and at least for me, it has nothing to do with the phrase, what if that was me? It got nothing to do with that. It's just it's the right thing to do. It's the honorable thing to do. It's what the Lord wants us to do. And it just, and it, it's just at least for me, it's just my soul calling, man. For me, it's just my soul calling. Again, this is like the fourth or fifth video I feel. <sighs> Forgive me, I yawned. <laughs> Fourth or fifth video I filmed today. Um, I feel like I've ran out of thoughts, even though I got catalogs all scattered around my desk to talk about. But the war on poverty, I got that from this, this uh, the CNN Bloody Sunday thing anniversary when it was um, marching over the bridge and it was really holding signs about vote, 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 and then Michael. Dr. Michael Eric Dyson was talking about the war on poverty. But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to fix everything by voting. Not even a majority of things. I want you to understand what, what, what voting even is. That I, If you understand what voting is, and I mean, voting is from a sense of you're voting for a person that, that should be holding your same ideals. But then once they get in office, you know how many at, at times... How many layers they possibly have to go through to get things passed? The point there, ladies and gentlemen, if politics, if you really should, if if you if, if relying on voting, if that was the if that was the key issue, I don't believe we would be where we are today. And the point there is, you have to stop relying on voting to solve your problems. You have to take you take matters truly into your own hand. Cause I mean, I made a video about a few months ago, um, literally on this YouTube channel. Talking about this is more than voting. You can type that in. This is more than voting by uh, Brotherhood Nation Entertainment. You you know even my that's my channel name, but my rapper name NJ to the City. But you get the point. You can literally look up on this channel where I literally rant about this is more than voting. 
Not just the war on poverty, the war on, the war on everything. It's more than voting, ladies and gentlemen. It, is, it can be simply defined as love thy neighbor as thyself and do what's morally God first right. Everything in our society, at least to this Jesus-oriented person, aka this Jesus freak, but I, I actually, well, Jesus oriented is my is my personal title I came up with for myself. But you can also call me Jesus freak if you want to, because I'll put Jesus in everything. Um. Uh, but that's the that's the key. You have to love thy neighbor as thyself, trying to do right in um in the most godly, moral fashion you possibly can. That's how you're gonna help lead people and grow and build, can build strong, successful families and communities. You're not gonna do it relying on all these, all this, all these politics. You're not. I feel like Paul, Paul, sorry, politics itself right now is literally just an endless mind game. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an endless mind game cesspool. It is an endless, I hate to say it like I said in the other video, I think God's plan versus the rabbit hole of sin. Ladies and gentlemen, that's literally what politics in many cases is right now. It's the rabbit hole of sin. If not the rabbit hole of sin, it's definitely a rabbit hole. There's too many. Too many issues that you you, you, you cannot rely on voting to help you solve. You just can't. And if you do, you're going to forever be dead in the water. If you rely on politics to help save you, possibly, you will always be dead in the water. If you're always relying on voting to save you, from your misery, I think you will always be dead in the water. But that's my opinion. You have to realize not everybody shares your equal ideals, ladies and gentlemen. That's and and, and just and, and once you and we've seen time and time again, we vote this person in. What do they do? Not that they not that they haven't done some good, but what do they do? And I'm just saying, at least from what I'm, it's not to discourage anybody from voting, but it's like I put in that video. This is more than voting, and you got to get over that stuff. And it's not to say don't vote, vote, but you can, but you're not gonna the real change. You're not gonna get real change through voting. You're not gonna get the real change that we need through voting. The real change we need is through everybody systematically, if you were to ask me, accepting Jesus Christ into their lives as their Lord and Savior, sharing love to every neighbor, and going about their everyday life in the most professional godly manner they can that's how we're gonna fix everything you're not gonna fix almost anything just by voting it's just the way i look at it it's almost like what what j cole said in that song off of um yeah off of his album k a uh, kod where he said democracy is too slow um he says, 2018, let me, you know, pick the things that I'm funding through an app on my iPhone. And I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, don't it make sense? Please tell me, don't it make sense? I think it does. And I'm just telling y'all this because this is the real stuff. You got movies, TV shows books i think that nobody has any nobody under any situation any circumstances has a reason to stay in poverty unless they just willingly want to when you have a phone right there a phone connected to the internet the point is sermons books too many things there to inspire you there's too many things to inspire too many vices to help inspire you I think in today's day and age, if you're still in poverty, it's because you want to be in poverty, not because you know you're not because you can't get out. You just want to be. But again, I don't know everybody's situations, but I'm pretty sure you understand what I mean about that. Because I'm telling you, there's too many vices for inspiration, hope, and compassion. What what you gonna do with them? Cause just complaining about let's vote. That's you 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 gonna be in the same place you are next next year you gonna be in the same place you are this year, if not five ten years. No, is loving thy neighbor as thyself and follow the ways of the Father through Christ, which will strengthen us. God bless you, border manager to the city. I might post or I might film something else tonight. If I don't, I don't. If I do, I do.
still for better and for worse. God bless. Love you.